seafood restaurant in the Hilton Riverside in New Orleans. Um, we're waiting for Tommy Sintanovich. He's the owner here, and uh, we're gonna get to do a nice interview with him. We're just hanging out, waiting for him to get here. Sintanovich. Okay, Tommy Sintanovich of Drago's Seafood Restaurant here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, uh, I am uh, a restaurateur. I absolutely love what I do. Uh, I'm a husband and I've got four kids and uh, I've got two restaurants. I've got 250 employees. Uh, I'm chairman of the Restaurant Association for Louisiana. Uh, I, I, I love my business. I love working in my business. I love working our industry. I love talking about our uh, our city. What you know, we just live in this most incredible place in the world, uh, and I'm very proud of it. I know there's other places that are, you know, different. Some nicer, some not so nice, and everybody handles, you know, kind of ha has their own feelings about their own place. And uh, I gotta tell you, I think this is one of the best places in the world right here. Every day. Talk about, I'm gonna be good today. No more fried food. I'm not gonna have anything with that in it. It hasn't happened yet. There's just too much good stuff around here. We had alligator, we've had sauteed or what are these charboiled oysters. Everything is fried, it's so delicious and buttery and full of carbs. And I think I'm gonna diet around here, just this, this doesn't work. So, um, next stop, I'm gonna be good. I swear. <laughs> Uh, well, my aunt and uncle had a restaurant called Drago's. It was owned by Drago Batnich. It was uh, in Lakeview, which is part of town. They uh, they closed that restaurant, and a couple of years later, my mom and dad opened our restaurant. And uh, probably thirty seven or eight years later, we opened this restaurant on, on top Drago's. of that. Drago's. I'm saying it wrong. Drago's. Well, Drago is a Croatian first name, which my dad is Drago Satanovic. Uh, Drago is a very popular Italian last name, and Dragos, D-R-A-G-O-S, is a Greek last name, which is pretty popular. So, uh, I don't care how you call it, as long as you come in and enjoy our oysters, I'm happy. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> so this is a raw oyster, and this is still not proclaimed as being one of the biggest ones. No. Look at how big these oysters are. Oh my goodness. That's my hand in relation to that. Down the hatch. Tastes like the sheet. Huh? Wow. Very good. Wow. Uh, so can you give everybody watching an idea of what to expect from culinary culture in New Orleans? What, what, what's well, the let me tell you. We've got what makes us different from everywhere else. Because I'm gonna tell you, in San Francisco, in New York, in Chicago, south of the border, in Paris, they've got great restaurants. And they've got, you know, uh, with today, the way the world is, and the way transportation works to get product around, you got good food all over. What separates New Orleans? Let me tell you, we have generations and generations of great cooks. We also have this very, very unique cooking style that happens here that really doesn't happen in many other places. The way, the way we mix all, all the vegetables and the spices and the peppers, uh, to, to, you know, whether you call it Cajun or Creole. Uh, so we've got generations of that happening. And on top of that, we've got the most incredible indigenous seafood that's second to none. Our oysters, our shrimp, our fish, our crabs. I'll take a Louisiana crab and put it next to a Maryland crab any day of the week. You might have a good crab cake up there. They may put some Old Bay in it, but I guarantee you we're going to New Orleans size it and it's going to be really good here as well. Oysters. Yeah, of okay. course. Uh, it's my second favorite dish. I've got a shrimp dish that I kind of like, but uh, but our uh, what we're famous for is charbroiled oysters. Oysters on a half shell. We put them on a barbecue grill. We baste them with butter, garlic, parsley, and cheese. Ooh. And 
Uh, I'm going to tell you it's the single best bite of food in New Orleans. It is, uh, we serve in two restaurants well over three billion oysters a year. Uh, That's a lot world. of oysters. That's a lot of oysters. And uh, we're kind of a little different than some of the other restaurants around town. Uh, we have our own seafood dealer's license, which allows us to go directly to the boat and buy directly from the fishermen. Thank you so much.